Hello, everyone. This is Eric Spence. I am the Chief Business Development Officer here at the 10K Project. I want to talk a little bit about myself just to, so you can get a chance to know me. Um, talk a little bit about the experiences that I've had that have kind of shaped me. Um, you know, one of the primary ones that I think I, you know, that I uh, really hone in on is, you know, my father uh, was a farmer. Um, and I grew up uh, from the time I was a little boy all the way through high school and beyond of just working with my dad and helping him in farm work. We didn't live on a farm. We actually lived, you know, in the city, in the suburbs, I guess you would say, but my dad would rent land and that's how he would make his living. We would go out, um, he grew uh, soybeans and grew corn, uh, butter beans, uh, snaps, as we call them, but you know, now, of course they call them green beans. And that's how we did it, you know, from, and I mean, doing the field work, from picking, hoeing, all of it. Um, that's how, you know, he, he really made his living. And I grew up that way of just doing um, all of the tasks that were required in order for, um, for things to grow well. You know, I, it was a lesson, it was so many lessons that, you know, I, I learned of just doing that with my father of just um, the value of hard work itself, um, you know, in, in, in manual labor itself of, of putting your hands into the dirt um, with the intention that, that, that you're going to yield um, something positive, something that's going to grow for you, that's going to be beneficial to you. Um, from that point, though, uh, after high school, I, you know, of course, I graduated and I went off to college. I went off and, um, you know, a big part of the thing, too, was I played college football and that's what I did. But then I also, like, after graduating from college, I went off and I worked at a school where um, it, was, it was for youths who had gotten in trouble with the law. And we were there to help them rehabilitate and, you know, really change their lives for the better. Um, from that point, though, as I was working there, and I loved working with kids I, like I still do, but I did get an opportunity to, to do a, a, a career tra transition, and I had a relative who was involved in the music industry, and he said, hey, I think this thing is going to take off, you know, for me. Um, you know, Eric, I know you well. I would really love to have you come and just watch over a lot of things for me, and I was kind of like, ah, I don't know, you know, let me kind of think about it. But, you know, I was there, um, you know, kind of, you know, I think I was like, you know, 22, 23 at the time. And I was kind of like, you know, though, let me kind of go give this a shot. And then I can always transition and go back, you know, um, to working with you, working, you know, like I, I had a, one intention of, you know, maybe going into law enforcement or something like that. I said, you know, I can probably go back and do that. But, you know, from that point on, listen, it's, it's been, you know, 20 plus years. Uh, in the music industry. I've worn a lot of different hats for the last 10 years. I've worked as a music publisher and I've seen a lot of changes happen. I, I would say probably one of the, the, the biggest change has been the advent of technology and how that has changed a lot of things in music and how, not just how music's done, but how mu music is actually valued. Um, it makes me think especially of streaming. And then I think about those, you know, creators as we were in the 90s and as they were creating this sound they had no intention um you know that the valuations of that how it would accrue and increase over the years due to the advent of these streaming platforms i say that and and that's important for me especially in 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 business is because i i'm a i'm a big believer in black creativity in business itself I just strongly believe in us that our ingenuity, our way of thinking, our applications of, of technology and, and the ways in which we see how things can be done, um, it just is it's, it's, it's nothing else like it in the world. Uh, there's a thinker that I've, I follow and I've read a lot of his books and that's Dr. Amos Wilson. And Dr. Amos Wilson had talked at one point about taking some of the, some of the European infrastructures that are already in place, but then infusing those with um, Afrocentric intuition. And that's what I think about us when I think about us applying it into the business world itself, that we begin to approach it with a different mindset that I believe um, 
it's just going to lead to lead to just a great result on the other side. So I am very proud to be a part of the 10K project. I want more and more of us, um, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you're an investor, just to join hands and lock arms with us and just be a part of it because I believe that we're on the verge of doing some great things. Thank you very much.